Hey YouTube! So it's been a while, and the reason is because I've been working on my fourth book, Night of the Half Angel, and it is finally in its rough draft stage, and I've been super excited about that. So I really haven't had time for much else besides work, friends, and then writing. So I'm back. To, I'm back to vlogging, and here it is: my quarterly goals. For those that are new to my channel. My, these, I do these quarterly goals every three months. The idea is to set up more goals than I can ideally handle and, and to, I typically set 12 to 14 of these goals and I see if, see if I can accomplish at least half of them. And half, if you accomplish half of them, that's success. And you can do this whether you're a writer, actor, or any profession really you can you can adjust this to however you want it now i got this idea from another author her name is jenna moresi i'll post the link to her her channel below make sure you check her out she's got a new book coming out called the savior's champion it sounds really awesome but let's see let's see how i did for this quarter Number one, do one book signing a month. Now this this is going to be a year a year long thing for me. This is going to be something that I've I'm going to try to accomplish all year, and I did do this. Um, number two, finish reading Servant and the Dark Tower three. I have finished this. I haven't finished reading Servant, but I did finish reading the third Dark Tower book. Uh, number three, finish Rough Draft Night of the Half Angel. This is probably the one I'm the most proud of because I finished this goal eight days earlier than what I intended. And I'm really excited with how the book is, has come out and I, I hope I'm not gonna be really horrified once I have to go through the editing stages and either the cutting or the adding, um, but we will see. Number four, no fast food to my birthday. Yep, failed that one. Number five, do marketing or a horror presentation for writers group. I've been wanting to do a presentation for writers group for quite a while now. I just haven't gotten around to it. We haven't really been meeting that much either. I think everybody's just been busy with life, which which, which happens. Number six, work on character art for Angela Nardi. Angela Nardi is the main character in my upcoming new series, Night of the Half Angel, and I've been really excited about working for character working character art out for her and I'm using the same artist that I use for both the Phantom Lock books and I've gotten to see some uh, I've gotten to see some early stages of the art and it looks great. We haven't gotten quite gotten quite to the the cover stage yet, but we've got quite a while because the book probably won't come out to the mid middle of the summer. Um, but I'm really excited about the character art stuff. I think I think. Emily Thornton is the artist. I think she's going to bring her own uh, finesse and really have uh, something special to add to Angela Nardi because this will be the first time that this character has been brought to life by an artist. Angela's appeared in two other books, but she's never been drawn before. Number seven, file your taxes. I did this, and thank God. <laughs> Uh, number eight, write two short stories. I did not get around to this. This is the whole thing of getting so busy with your next book is you don't have time to really write other things. I thought I had other short stories that I thought about writing and I just haven't gotten to that yet. Try Instagram. Instagram, not for me. I like doing Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. I've been thinking about stretching out to other other um, other social media, but really those other those three and of course my website on Squarespace are really the only ones that I like to do. I mean, you know, who knows what I'll end up getting into. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll see, but Instagram it just wasn't something that I was into really. Number 10 is kind of a personal thing. I don't want to say what it was, but it was, it was important. It was something that I needed to do for myself and I did accomplish this. Uh, number 11, post a synopsis of Night of the Half Angel on my website. I did do this, and I actually did this a couple weeks ago, and you can check. It's on my website right now. You can go to the link below after this video is over and check that out. Number 12, last but not least, 
do the Hellraiser movie reviews. I was really excited for the new Hellraiser, Hellraiser Judgment to come out, so I wanted to review all nine of the Hellraiser movies leading up to its release, and then, of course, review the new one. And I, I, I was excited to do those, and I think that was really the last set of videos I actually did. And uh, you can check out those on my channel. And fun fact, I actually got to meet Paul, Ta Paul Taylor, who plays Pinhead in Hellraiser Judgment. Really nice guy, not nearly as scary as he is in the movie. Um, I was really excited to meet him. Uh, I thought he was great as the character. and uh, I could go on and on about the movie because I, I did enjoy the movie, but uh, that's what the review is for. So if you're keeping track, I did one, two, four, I did eight and a half out of the 12 goals. So I more than blew away half of these. And I'm very I'm very happy with how these came out. And um, I'm, I'm very happy that I was able to, to accomplish as much as I did this quarter. I, um, I think that, that it's important to keep yourself accountable. I don't think um, a year round goal is, is is this easy to keep track of? I think writing it down and having something that you having different goals swapped out or keeping some some of the same ones. Like I'll be keeping a couple of these that I didn't do uh, for next quarter. But if you like to see here, make sure you subscribe. Check out my other videos. I've got a new book coming out. Don't know when yet, but you can check out my other books on they're available on Amazon on ebook and paperback. Bye.